Hey guys. In this tutorial, we will learn how to make the camera follow player. So, first we will create a new script called follow player inside the scripts folder. This script should be attached with that game object which will follow the player. In this case, we want the camera to follow the player. So, we will attach the script to the camera. I am going to drag and drop the script to the main camera game object. Now, if we click the main camera game object, then we can see in the inspector the script has been attached. And then we will open it in Visual Studio. First, we will create a game object type variable called player. We need this player game object, because this game object is the target which the camera will follow. Now, we will need a vector 3 type variable called offset. Vector 3 means 3 direction like x, y, and z. We use vector 3 to measure a distance in 3 dimensions. Now, we need set value for those two variables. I am going to do this in the start function. First, we will find the player game object by its tag. Remember, we have set a tag for the player in the last video. So, I am going to write player equals to game object dot find game object with tag and then we will write the tag name which is player. Now, we will set a value for the offset variable. So, I am going to write offset equals to, here we will need the distance between camera and the player. So, first I am going to type transform.position. Transform.position means the current position of the camera game object. We don't need to write the camera name because the script is currently attached with the camera. However, now we will subtract the player position. So, I am going to write minus player dot transform dot position. So, now we have the distance between the camera and the player game object. Now, since we want the camera will move along with the player, so we will use the update function. We will actually set the player position as the camera position and then add the offset. So, I am going to write transform.position equals to new vector 3 and then, we will put 3 value which are x, y, and z. Here, transform.position means the camera position, and we are using vector 3 to set the new camera position, because we can write x, y, and z value separately. So, we will first set the x value which will be player.transform.position.x. We've just got the player x value, so the camera will move along with the player horizontally. Now, since the camera and the player is not placed at the same position. So, we will keep the offset distance from the player by adding the offset variable with it. We only need the x value from the offset. Now, we will set the y and z value. We don't want the camera to follow the player vertically, I mean the y dimension. So, we will set the current y position of the camera. Transform.position.y means the current y value of the camera. And then we will also keep the current z position of the player. Now, I am going to save the script by pressing Ctrl S, and then we will go back to Unity. Play the game. It's working fine. So, this is it for this video and I will see you in the next tutorial.